Hi, my name is Amin and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a high quality cover for KDP. Now of course you don't want to copy this cover exactly because uh, this is my cover and you know you don't want duplicate content on Amazon and obviously um, it's going to hurt my sales if you do copy this cover because I've already published this. So this tutorial isn't about showing you how to copy but how to create high quality covers like this one. So in order to do this, you're going to need a software such as Adobe Illustrator or something similar such as Affinity Designer like you see here or something similar. A vector editing software would be ideal, but I believe you can also use Canva. But the issue with Canva is the things you can do are quite limited. You know, it's often difficult to create high quality covers using Canva. It's a software that I used to use at the beginning, but then I migrated to using Adobe Illustrator instead. The second thing you're going to need is a subscription to a website where you can download graphics from. So that can be Creative Fabrica, it can be Vecteezy, it can be Freepik. Um, they're all paid. You'll need to either pay for them or use their free versions. On Creative Fabrica, I believe you can download free graphics. The same with Vecteezy and also Freepik, but you'll need to check their licenses. And on Vecteezy and Freepik, you'll also need to give attribution to the creators who created the graphics somewhere in your book. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is open up Adobe Illustrator. So um, going forward, I'm just going to mention Adobe Illustrator, but if you choose to use a different software, you're going to obviously open that particular software. So I'm just going to open Adobe Illustrator and then uh, click on create new. And over here, I'm just going to rename it to uh, food journal cover. My size is going to be six times nine inches size. And you might not want to create a food journal cover. You can create whatever cover you want. And then going down over here, I'm going to select RGB color. I don't think it really matters. I know a lot of people talk about RGB and CMYK, but to be honest, I haven't noticed any difference. Um, I've even ordered a lot of my books and I don't see any difference in quality or colors. And over here, I'm going to make sure that it's 300 PPI. You don't want it anything low because you want your images to appear crisp and clear. Once you've done that, you want to click on create. And then you can see that I have my front cover and this is also known as an artboard in Adobe Illustrator. So the next thing you'll need is some sort of inspiration. You know, it's extremely difficult to just uh, sit with a blank screen such as this and then try to come up with ideas. You're going to have to look at other designs so that it sparks your ideas. So in my case, I typed in food journal. I looked at other covers to see if there's anything that sparks some sort of inspiration. And you don't always need to look at that particular niche. You can also type in kids meal planner or something similar and you can find inspiration that way as well. Another website you can use is Pinterest. Type in something related to kids and food because that's what we're creating and that may spark some sort of inspiration. But in my case, uh, I found inspiration just by searching for graphics on Vecteezy. So when I saw this, then I had an image in my mind that I can create something similar I can use this as a background and then uh, have food journal use this as well have food journal and then these fruits would be surrounding this circular element so yeah that's where my inspiration came from so this being the graphics that I decided to use I then downloaded it and then over here I'm just gonna right click open with and then Adobe Illustrator if you're using Adobe designer you're gonna click on Adobe designer and then what you want to do is you can see that there's all these elements that you can use now on your cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group this one here, this orange circle and uh, this element here. I'm just going to group them together so that when I move one of them, they both move. So the way to group them is you hold shift and select both of them and then right click and then group. So once you've done that, you want to copy it onto your cover. So I'm just going to click on edit copy and then go to the cover and then edit paste most of the time I use command C and command V that's on a Mac and I think on a PC it's going to be something similar as well so holding down shift I'm just going to resize this to make it smaller I'm going to put it in the middle and then over here you can see that there's the align tab so I'm just going to click on horizontal align center and then vertical align center the next thing I'm going to do is add a text. So I'm going to click on the text tool here. I'm just going to click anywhere here. Click on this 
selection tool to make it a little bit bigger holding down shift i'm going to resize this and then of course name it as food journal food and then i'm just going to copy this and the way to copy something on adobe illustrator the easiest way is to hold down option uh, that's on a mac on a pc it's going to be something similar and then just drag it underneath so over here i'm going to write journal and then I'm going to select both of them and then once again center them and then make them bigger and then using my arrow keys on my keyboard I'm just going to place it place it into alignment and the two fonts I'm going to use for this particular cover are kids comic font from creative fabrica and station kids or kids station so i'm just going to use them there's so many great fonts on creative fabrica i'll leave links to these two down in the description but if you want to use your own fonts other fonts that you like on creative fabrica or other websites um, feel free to use them but just make sure that you're allowed to use them commercially and then once i've installed the fonts i'm just going to change this to kids over here i'm just going to type in kids comic so this is my chosen font i like the style of it and i think uh, it's um, it's perfect for for covers relating to kids i'm just going to center it one more time and then i'm just going to temporarily change the color of this to white so that it stands out the next thing i'm going to do is head back over to the graphics and then this time what i want to do is i want to grab these dots and the background i'm going to have my cover looking similar to this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to group this together and last time i showed that you can right click and then group them together but this time i'm going to click on command and then g to make it quick and then command and c to copy and then i'm going to head over to my cover and then command and v to paste so I'm just going to resize this to match the size of the cover and once I've done that I'm going to move this to the background because it's covering all the other elements and the way to do this is you right click on your mouse and then click on arrange and then send to back so I'm done with this I'm just going to tidy this up so that it removes the excess parts from the cover so the way to do this is you want to click on the rectangle tool and make a rectangle over the cover my size is six times nine inches so i'm just going to type that in and then once i've done that i'm going to align it center horizontal and vertical once again and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this selection tool make sure this one's selected and the background is also selected and then i'm going to click on object clipping mask and then make okay so that's tidied it up so once again i'm going to move this to the background so i'm just going to select it click on object arrange and then send to back and then the next thing i'm going to do is grab all the fruits so i'm just going to hold shift and grab all of them like so copy them command c go over to the cover and then command v to paste them I'm just going to resize them to make them smaller and then I'm just going to place them according to how I think they look good on the cover and of course you're going to experiment you're going to change things around you're going to resize them you're going you might even resize this um, this is something that's going to take time and some fruits will look better on certain places compared to others so you want to play around with this and then once you've done that you should have a cover that looks something like this so what i'm also going to do is tidy up the edges of these elements so the way to do this is it's the same way so i'm just going to make a rectangle resize it to six times nine because that's the size of my cover and then horizontal align it vertical align it and then i'm going to click on both the rectangle and the fruits and then click on command and seven to tidy up and one thing i forgot to mention is that before you do this you're going to have to group all of these together because if they're separate like such then you won't be able to tidy them up you're going to have to select all of them and then group them together and one other thing i've done is i've changed the color of this the text to match it to a color that's already on the design so what i did was i selected both of them i clicked on this eyedropper tool 
and then I just clicked on a color I wanted and in this case I wanted this color you can choose any color that goes well with the cover the next thing I'm going to do is add a drop shadow to food journal because this is one of the most important aspects of this cover and you want it to stand out if you just leave it as it is then it doesn't really stand out so you want to add a drop shadow and the way to do this is you select it you go to effect stylize and then drop shadow and then it adds a drop shadow but of course you don't want it to be too aggressive so i'm going to click on normal and then over here i'm just going to play around with this to find something that's suitable and then once you've done that you want to click on ok so as you can see this food journal bit it uh, pops out a bit more and then having done all of the adjustments and playing around with things um, resizing the text and i've even added the word daily for kids and then with a rectangle underneath it i've also added a drop shadow here this is the complete front cover now what i want to do is create the back cover so the way i'm going to do this is i'm going to click on document setup edit artboard and then holding down the option key i'm going to copy this to the right so as you can see it created a duplicate cover so i'm just going to click on this here the selection tool and then i'm just going to delete the elements leaving only the background behind so once i've done that i have my front and back cover so the next thing i'm going to do is download the template in my case it's a six times nine inches template with a page count of 110 i'm just going to download this and once you've downloaded it you want to place it over here so the way to do this is click on file place select your template and then click on place and then just place it somewhere that's suitable so once you've done that you want to create another artboard you can't just put a cover over this you need to create an artboard and the way to do this is you click on document setup edit artboard and you just click here so that it creates an artboard behind this so i'm just going to click here so you just need to make sure that it's the correct size so this one the size is 12.5 so i'm just going to adjust this to 12.5 so the next thing i'm going to do is place the front and back cover over the template so i'm just going to copy it paste it here align it and in this case it's this one here horizontal align right vertical align top and then i'm just going to adjust the size holding shift to match the size of the book cover and then i'm just going to do the same with the other one and once that's done i'm going to create a spine to cover this bit here and the size of the spine for this particular cover is 0.25 inches so i'm just going to create a spine and then over here i'm going to type in 0.25 and then i'm just going to align it horizontal center and then I'm going to change the color to match this color here. So clicking on the eyedropper tool, I'm going to select the color. And once that's done, I'm going to group everything together by selecting all of them and then clicking on command and then G. The next thing I'm going to do is check if everything's correctly in place by reducing the opacity to 50%. So as you can see, the spines aligned, the cover it's perfectly in place it's in the center and the same with the back cover as well there's no issues with it so I'm just going to change the opacity back to 100 and then I'm going to click on this here where it says layers click on this little arrow and then I'm going to remove the template because you're not allowed to have the template in the background so I'm just going to click on this eye icon so that it hides the template that's underneath okay so you can see that the template is hidden now so we're pretty much complete with the cover the next thing i'm going to do is export it so i'm going to click on file save as desktop adobe pdf because it has to be pdf and then the range i'm going to select it as three because this is the third artboard click on save and then click on save pdf so here we have it that's the cover complete if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like it and make sure you subscribe to my channel for similar videos